Hello everyone and welcome to this quick video. Uh, we're going to do a really quick video right now before doing a much longer one uh, later on today. And this one's not part of the main uh, series, the complete free flutter course. Uh, you can check those videos out on my profile. Uh, what I want to do in this video uh, is answer a question I saw on Facebook, which I thought was pretty good. Uh, I saw somebody ask how to run the same app on two different devices. And, you know, I just wanted to make a quick video to explain that. And we're going to work mainly with our terminal down here. Uh, you could also copy, you, know, you could also open uh, a different terminal, uh, up to you. Personally, I always use the one in VS Code, but there's no reason why you need to do that. I'm going to double check our folder to make sure we are in the directory where our app is. And I am. And then we'll start by putting Flutter devices. So Flutter, of course, is going to access all the different commands Flutter can do. And devices just tells me which devices I have connected, which I can use. So in my specific case, I have one emulator, which is already open. And I have the web SDK installed, so I can also open it in Chrome. And once you have this, I want you guys to pay attention to this column here. Uh, these are the names of the devices, the ones the computer actually recognizes. Now I can open certain devices using flutter dash D and then the name of the device. So in this case, I'll say emulator dash five, 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 four. And if you have more than one emulator, you'll probably, and I definitely did that wrong. Yeah, so the reason that didn't work is because I forgot to say run. So it's going to be flutter run, so like usual. But then afterwards, we'll put the dash D to get the device and then the name of the device. And when you hit enter, it's going to run it on whatever device you have selected. So that's going to start on the simulator here. And now, as you guys probably know, once this terminal is running, you know, flutter run or whatever, I can't do anything else with it because if I do, it's going to cancel the previous thing. So instead, I'm going to hit this button here, new terminal, or you could hit control shift and backtick, but I'll hit this one. And now notice the number here has changed before I was on one and bash is the type of terminal I'm using. If you're on a Mac, it might say something like ZHH or I don't know what the terminal is called or something like that. Uh, so now I'm on two bash. So this is a different terminal. Uh, similarly, you could also just you know, open up another terminal or I could open up a new tab on my terminal. But again, I'm using this one. And now we can do the same thing. So flutter devices, which is going to get me my list of devices. And I'm already running on this emulator. So what I'm going to do is say flutter run D or dash D. And I'm going to select Chrome. So I'm going to open it up in Chrome as well. And it's going to take a few seconds to load. You can see this emulator has just loaded and this app I'm running is not finished. It's just something I was, uh, you know, doing in my spare time. So I'm actually going to go back to my first terminal and refresh this because I prefer the way it looked when it started. And you can see I can switch between these easily. This is one bash and I can do the usual things. I can you know, refresh everything. I can um, do whatever, but I can also go to my other terminal and do the same thing on my other emulator. In this case, I'm using Chrome. And it's just taking a few seconds to load. I'm gonna, I was gonna say I'm gonna edit out the, the weights, but now it's loaded. So there you go, you can see the same app is loading on two different devices. I have it on my emulator. I also have it over here in Google Chrome. And again, the only thing you really need to remember is Flutter devices to get the list of all your devices and Flutter run dash D and the name of the device, which you get from this column here. And also this plus button to get more than one terminal and then you can choose a different terminal from here. So super, super simple stuff, guys. All right, that's it for me for right now. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.